I don't know why I feel so much more liberated on this account. Oh, you guys, I gotta, I gotta figure it out. I've got to figure it out. We're gonna have some discussion today. Um, <laughs> you guys, I feel like I feel so much pressure on Graveyard Girl now that I self-impose on myself. I just filmed the does this thing really work and I'm just always scared that I'm not gonna be like funny enough or it's not gonna be a good enough device. Are people gonna think it's boring? Um, and I, I feel like a million bucks. That's a lie. Um, I, I kind of feel, I don't know. I felt kind of like a garbage person for the past couple of days. And I don't mean like garbage, like, a, like, do you know what I mean? Like garbage, garbage. Um, I have been having my special lady time and I never really feel good when that's going on. Um, it, TMI, but a lot of times, some, some months, I don't know, some months it's worse than others. I'm sure this is a common problem that many of you guys, if you, if you have this, you understand. And if you don't, you're, you've been blessed, uh, is all I can say. <laughs> Oh my gosh. So I don't know. I feel like that's been kind of like affecting my mood and my emotions. And I don't know what I'm saying right now. And I've got on false lashes and I feel luscious. And I'm drinking milk. <laughs> Which if you've watched my last Does This Thing Really Work video, then you know why I'm drinking milk. And we're on the camera that I've been normally filming with. Because you guys, oh, it, uh, it, I, it was very scary. Uh, the last vlog that I filmed for this channel, or was it Graveyard Girl? No, it was the last video I filmed for this channel because I've actually been here more than Graveyard Girl lately. <sighs> um, sippy sippy. Uh, we're gonna get into a lot of, I don't, I don't, do I want to say a lot of meteor stuff? I don't know the meteor stuff. Oh, you guys, we got, while I was not feeling good, I was down and out. Um, I, I discovered that there are people that think that the earth is flat. And I mean, I'm not, I'm really, I'm trying not to knock anybody for their beliefs. Cause I am just, I'm like, believe whatever you want to believe. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I've never been like without getting political or religious or anything else. Like I never care what anyone else believes. Like I have my own beliefs and that's cool. But like, you don't have to believe what I believe and I don't have to believe what you believe. And like, we can still live in harmony. Like it does, I like, I, I don't know. That's always been something like in my mind that I just don't understand like why people have to have other people like believe their same beliefs. It, it doesn't affect my beliefs, what anyone else believes in. Um, but I, I don't know, it, it is just, I, like, I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to understand. Uh, I don't know why I brought that up. But now it, it's this whole flat earth thing. Like um, PewDiePie just made a video like yesterday or day before yesterday that was like, flat earth it's, it's now now i'm just seeing it's once again we we recently had this discussion where this this there's this phenomena that you like watch one video on youtube about a topic like maybe even in jest and then it like the next 500 things that they suggest to you are gonna be like all like anytime anyone said flat earth ever on youtube they they're gonna put it front and center in your in your suggested it's it's wild um I did not come here today to talk to you about Flat Earth. I actually came here today to open some squishies. And you, you guys probably already know the drill here. Wow, Steve Urkel. <laughs> My shorts are like uh, up here. Um, business on top, pajamas on the bottom. You already know the drill. Um, we're gonna look at some squishies today because you guys know how the drill is. We like, you know, do unboxings here, look at squishies, look at whatever. <laughs> I almost drooled, um, you know, like a haul kind of video, but I'm gonna talk to you guys like a tea vlog and some kind of unboxing or haul at the same time, unless you're new here. And then I'm sorry that I spent five minutes talking about flat earth. You're probably not here for that, but this surprise squishy box came to me today and I'm gonna peel the stamp off cause I don't wanna show their address or my address. Uh, but look at this. Australian postage for this package was a hundred and one dollars and twenty three cents. How about a little focusing? Oh, that's the story that I probably cut off. Yes, why I'm not filming on my old camera that may or may not have better quality. It's a toss up. A lot of you guys say, yeah, much better quality with that camera. And a lot of you guys seem to like this one better. 
but it overheats and last time I filmed a video and I thought I was it was the Disney cuties kingdom cuties video and it acted like the file was just gone like if I opened up the memory card or whatever I could see the file was there but it wouldn't import it anywhere it wouldn't let me just like drag and drop and import onto the desktop it was too spooky for me and so now I'm scared to like film anything on that camera again because then I'm just gonna like talk to myself in a room for 40 minutes and not be able to upload it anywhere so it's gonna feel a lot like YouTube has felt for the past year <laughs> um it's the only way to recover from misery is joking um because that's another discussion that we're gonna have today i didn't talk about it in last video but i feel like i don't know it's it's this this is the kind of roller coaster that i have been feeling all the time is i'm like oh yeah i'm so back into it i'm so excited everything feels great and then it's like something so stupid happens that it just crushes my soul again and it's just you know i'm, I'm living i'm okay <laughs> you know but it's just it's the sheer frustration of it all that really wears you down and i feel like you can see a lot of that going on lately but we're gonna have fun we're gonna have fun we're gonna talk about some stuff it's it's six minutes welcome to the video uh oh they taped this um on the front and this is not a sponsored video but a uh, delightful boutique did send this package over for me um and they gave me a coupon code which is swamp family um all lowercase all one word and that will get you 15 percent off of all squishies so right here on the top where the note was taped is one of these i actually missed these i didn't get a lot of squishies last year towards the end of the year I think it's just predominantly because I felt like maybe you guys were sick of it. I don't know. Uh, so I missed out on a lot of the cute Halloween squishies. And so there were ghost marshmallow pigs. Look at that. It's a pig. It's a ghost. And this is one of the rare things that I am always conflicted about taking these out of the packages. I think I've only taken one of these out of the package ever because it actually does have a little keychain attached to it. And... This is such a satisfying sound to me. I love crinkling wrapper sounds. I don't know. I know that it's like different strokes for different folks. You know what I mean? Um, but I love that sound. I don't know. I posted that big ASMR thing the other day on my Instagram account where it was like, somebody cutting open these gigantic sponges and some people loved it like me and then some people were like this is like nails on a chalkboard so I don't know I know some people like that kind of stuff some people don't you never know you never know uh I'm gonna put this pig next to a lamp over here because it's supposed to glow in the dark oh my gosh and I feel like it must glow in the dark really well because it looks like it's kind of glowing already crazy we'll check back in with it uh but until then once again if you follow me on Instagram you probably saw a video of these the other day it was not my video I just reposted it but look at these new I think this is yeah this is I bloom and it's a cheesecake I thought it was pancakes when I first saw it but it's cheesecakes and it's a gigantic squishy and I really do kind of fantasize about having three of them so that I can do that myself and just squish three giant cheesecakes at a time Ooh. It smells really delicious. It doesn't smell like cheesecake. It's a very familiar squishy smell. It's kind of like a vanilla food maybe. I'm trying to scrunch it up really small and then we'll see it expand. Wow, look at that. Ooh, wow, this one's like very, very, very slow rising. It feels like very realistically like food and it smells great. It tastes great. No, I'm just kidding. They specifically write on every squishy, like, do not eat because there's probably been somebody who tries to eat them. I'm sure. I mean, it does. It does look like food, right? Looks like food. Everybody online thought it was food. Um, all right, moving along. I just did a sippy sippy with no sip. Um, we have, I wonder, oh my gosh. Wow. They sent like so many. I'm just now, look at this. This is incredible. Should I stop and take the thumbnail now? <gasps> I should. I should. All right. Um, there's cookies all over my floor. Okay. Uh, thumbnail check. 
All right, there are so many squishies in here that I was not even expecting. This is like an amazing surprise. Okay, so this is a cute new series that's called Cotton Candy Panda, and these are also by iBloom, and I think they sent me one of each color. I almost said one of each cover. I feel like I'm thinking about music so much lately because I have to tell you guys one thing that I just learned about my Snapchat account and that is a majority of my followers on Snapchat are heavy metal fans. I don't know. I just thought that that was so cool and it was like so surprising to me that I was just, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just shocked. So I feel like I've been thinking about music a lot lately. Um, so let's bust out all these little guys, but I think I'm gonna have a squishy giveaway because I recently got a really awesome PR package from uh, Bostia and here's Johnny. Um, <clears throat> I recently got a package from Bostia and it was a clear backpack and I was like, oh my gosh, like how much fun would it be to like stuff it full of squishies and then have people guess like how many squishies are inside i mean plus i'm just i'm just opening these once do you know what i mean so i don't really feel like i'm like harming them in any way so i feel like i could pass a lot of them on to you guys and it would be fun it would be enjoyable look at all these cute little babies um they are so cute so many different colored ones oh wow they all have different smells too this one's like grape i think this one's strawberry um oh wow this one's kind of minty and i cannot tell what this one is it's just overall fruity but that one might be my favorite one the little rainbow panda um then next we have some of these cute little guys which are called deep sea cuties and i i can't tell if this is like a different series or what um I feel like I have this one, but it's green. It's not pink. I don't think I have this pink one. So cute. It says, squeeze me and enjoy. And I think, yeah, this is Cutie Creative is the brand of these. Oh my gosh. I feel like Sydney would love this one because it's a squid. I call her Squidney. I feel like a lot of people have to call her Squidney. Um, and then we have this little guy, which is a cute little octopus. So adorable. My gosh, all these just smell so good. And there's so much fun to squish, so much fun to squish, so much fun to squish. Um, so you guys, do we have the social media conversation? I do feel like I come here and unload a lot of my problems on you guys, <laughs> uh, which I know, I don't know. I, I do see a lot of comments of you guys. Like, I, I don't think I've ever seen a comment that's like, please uh, stop talking about stuff so I don't know if you guys are annoyed you're being grand champions and you're just like not making me feel bad about venting and I don't really know if this is going to be a hundred percent like venting but I'm sure maybe you guys have heard about Vero I feel like it's kind of been like a very concentrated effort on social media the past couple of days to drive people to this website that's how I figured it out it's like a new social media app and it's basically like Instagram, supposedly, before they've ruined it by taking everything out of non-chronological order, which I will just say, another note about Snapchat, I really am surprised by the whole, like, Kylie Jenner thing that went down, uh, I guess, last week where she popped off about, like, not liking Snapchat anymore or whatever, and they supposedly lost, like, I think a billion dollars or something. This is a squishy I have wanted for so long. And this is the KTB Farm, KT Bakery. Oh, it's Bunny's Cafe. But these are adorable little honey bears and they are wrapped up in there so good. So I have a blue one and a purple one. And oh my gosh. Wow, these are wrapped up like really well. Ooh, they're very pleasantly scented. Maybe that one is blueberries or is it the power of suggestion that I'm looking at something blue and I'm thinking blueberry. Um, ooh, wow, this one is definitely grape. Do you guys have this feeling that grape is like the strongest synthetic scent? Because I definitely feel that way and these are so soft and so adorable. 
I love these like little handheld ones a lot of the time. I don't know. I love all squishies generally like the big giant ones and the little teeny tiny ones and all the ones in between. Um, anyway, so this new app came out and it's called Vero and it's basically like Instagram and some other stuff that I cannot get to work so I don't understand but it looks like kind of a combination of maybe like Facebook because I remember when I had a personal page you could like make lists of your favorite music and your favorite movies and all kinds of stuff like that and it would kind of show up in your feed or on your profile or something like that and I think you're supposed to be able to do that but like every single time all I wanted to do uh was say you know like here are a couple of my favorite movies and I can't get it to work it acts like the movies don't exist and these are like really like well-known movies so it's not like it should be like what is that um and so, I don't know, it's it's very janky, I will say that. It seems very buggy, but I don't know. I wanted to try it because just in case it's like the next big thing, I was like, oh, I should just like maybe like make an account, register an account, whatever. So I got on, I played around with it a little bit. It's always failing. It seems like it has really sketchy terms of service where it's like, oh, like we own everything. We own the commercial rights to absolutely everything that you ever post on this website. And that's kind of like, scary for everyone uh, but especially people that create things like you know content creators such as yours truly artists who want to post their illustrations and stuff however uh let's look at this little eye bloom mochi i don't think i've ever seen a double one before so these are like the little mochi animals uh so they're more kind of like jelly squishies um but anyway, I, I am sure that Instagram probably has equally ghastly terms of service, uh, but everybody's just kind of like too deep down that rabbit hole to back out now, I guess. Um, so I don't know. I just, I have really mixed feelings and what I've been seeing from a lot of other like content creators is everybody's creating accounts and then like now wanting to delete those accounts. And I don't know how I feel yet. I don't know if I want to give it a little bit of time and see if I like it or see if it takes off or if I want to delete my account as well. Um, it just seems like really buggy and I don't know. I'm sure if it takes off, it'll fix. But this thing is the most amazing mochi squishy I have ever felt in my life. Side note of joy. Just pushing down on the little feet is like so so different it's almost like popping bubble wrap that never pops and just the feeling of squishing two things together oh I love this I I don't know if mo like if I've ever gotten attached to mochi squishies before but I can definitely see myself loving this one it's so cute um so yeah I don't know what do you guys think about that have you joined the app do you have any thoughts about this I see some people like really wanting to stick with it like I think Mikey is doing a great job like she's actually like seemingly posting there I don't know I posted once yesterday I posted once today but I'm kind of just not feeling it, it kind of is like I don't know it seems kind of flaky like I I don't know but I think that we're just all so desperate for like some semblance of social media the way it was and so I feel like that's why kind of we all did this look before you leap thing I have never had this brand of squishy before and I'm gonna have to tell you guys I don't remember what it's called um maybe cafe something anyway this is supposed to be a heat reactive color changing squishy so it starts out green and then i think from the heat of my fingers it will maybe change i don't know maybe the lights in here are throwing it off because the lights are really hot in here i am like sweating um oh yeah okay you can see it just a little bit and that's probably also the fault of the camera. It feels kind of like more like real food though. I don't know. That's so weird. This feels like more like I'm squishing an actual bagel um, than a squishy. Creative Yoko is what is stamped on the bottom. Doesn't that just look like a real donut from far away? It's crazy. Like that side, you're like, oh, it's a squishy. That side, you're like, is it a bagel, mom? Um. Anyway... 
yeah i don't know i feel i feel like i definitely kind of like did a look before i left kind of thing and just signed up for the account and i've, I've been seeing a lot of people do it like cat is on there she's somehow getting the music stuff to work Anytime I try and do that, it just doesn't happen. Um, all right, up next, I have every single one of these. I'm so surprised um, and happy. It's like a good surprise because now I'm totally going to give back to you guys. So I'm not gonna unwrap all of these because definitely a lot of these are gonna be giveaway, but they are cute little squishy macaroons and they are based off of Sanrio characters. So this is the little puppy. I can't think of its name. Um, but this is the one that I wanted for myself. So I will open that one. It's Kuropi. I love Kuropi and Monkichi, which is the little monkey. I feel like those are kind of like some of the older Sanrio characters though that are like not, I don't know why I just ripped that. Um, cause I started keeping my squishies sealed up in the original plastic bags. Like I never understood why people did that, but I think it is maybe like better for them in the long run. I don't know. It definitely keeps the smells from mingling. Um, wow, this is so soft. You can get it really flat too. It's like a nice calming little thing. So yeah, I don't know. I just kind of wanted to bring that up and get you guys this two cents on Vero. Like, are you going to do it? What do you think about it? Oh my gosh, look, it's a little sailor penguin. What is his name? So yeah, just leave me you guys' thoughts and opinions down below. Um, there was actually like more people on there than I thought would be. Wait, is this the little puppy? Oh yeah, okay, so the yellow one is Pon Pon, uh, Pon, Pon Purin, right? And this one is like Poke, I, I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna try. Uh, but if, you, if you're into Sanrio, then you know what I mean. And I think this is cinnamon roll, because it has a little tail. Um, and I think that there was, oh, here is, uh, my Melody, which is the little pink bunny. And I think that there was a Monkichi one. Oh my gosh, here's Gudetama. I'm totally going to give that one to my mom. She loves Gudetama. Uh, but there's his little egg butt. That one is so cute. But I do think that there is a Monkichi one and I'm trying to find it. Um, no, you know what? Maybe it was this one I was thinking of. It's a Monkichi ice cream cone. Oh my gosh. These are so cute. So these are a little bit of a firmer squish because I think that they are meant more to be like keychains than, you know, like a traditional squishy that you would, you know, probably leave at home. I don't know. Or maybe like throw in your purse or something. Like I think that this is definitely like more of a keychain, if that makes any sense. Um... But look at that, he's so cute. I love the little monkey. Monkey, frog, I love them all. Um, so I have a ton of those as well. We have a Hello Kitty, a My Melody. That one is so cute, so cute. I don't know what accents I'm trying to do. We have a cinnamon roll. It's pretty much all the same characters that were just in the little macaroon squishies, except for now they are in ice cream cones. And I'm so cute. Oh my gosh, it's gonna drive me crazy what the penguin's name is. And then we have Kuropi. I keep wanting to redo my keys. I know that's such a silly thing to say, but a lot of times I like to like redo my keychain um, and change out all the keychains. And then we have a Bats Maru, the sassy penguin. Oh my gosh, look, here's another color changing donut. So we can see if maybe this one will be easier to see since it has a darker frosting on it. So this looks like it would be like toasted with a chocolate glaze on top. Let's see, this one might show up better because it's, um, I don't know you guys, I think it's just the lighting or maybe it's just not meant to be like a drastic difference. Let's see if I rub it, if that, cause I'm sure it's like heat reactive. It actually works better to just press, if I'm being honest. This one looks so real, I can't get over it. Here we have a gigantic eye bloom pain de matin. I think that translates to like bread of the day. Um, and it smells so good. Once again, it's kind of like that baked good smell. Maybe a little bit vanilla, maybe a little bit strawberry. But you guys, this one is another one that just smells amazing and it's so incredibly soft 
and I love these like big like these are the great ones that I like to have like when I'm editing videos and stuff or like when I can't like sleep sometimes at night um I just have these things and I'm like, oh, it's so nice. Um, sometimes Dogman finds giant squishy hunks of bread in the bed at night and it's like, oh yeah, here's my giant bread. Why not? Um, so up next we have these cute little guys which are by Cutie Creative and they are different bottles. So we have mustard, we have a mayo, and I thought I saw another one in here. Oh my gosh, look, we have tangy tomato ketchup that one is so cute oh my gosh i have to start and stop another file oh my gosh and my battery is dying um i think that there was maybe one other scent but i don't know i don't see it so i don't think so um i kind of want to know if this is gonna smell like ketchup it doesn't smell like ketchup <laughs> it smells really good though I, I can't describe the smell. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. It's like, for some reason, I didn't think that this one would be this soft, but it does. It's it's so soft. We have a jumbo marshmallow pig. Um, is this an actual recipe? 10 strawberries, 10 cups of flour, five cups of chocolate, and one kilogram of marshmallows. Stir well, don't eat this toy. Um, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. <gasps> wow, this one can be a big giant keychain. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. It has like a tropical fruit kind of scent to it. Uh, it actually reminds me of like, if you guys know the Haribo gummy frogs, that is what it smells like and it smells delicious. This is probably my favorite smelling one that we have opened today. We have Percy the rabbit in two different colors. So we have a pearlized rainbow one. And then I bet this other one is called galaxy. Oh my gosh, these can also be a keychain. So cute. Whoa, this one has like a very perfumed scent, but it's almost like a citrus perfume, if that makes any sense. So cute. Look at the little ears. Oh my gosh. You guys, these feel so good. Um, okay, should I show you? Obviously I should. I will take out the other bunny as well. I feel like these are like perfect for Easter coming around. Um, oh my gosh. Let's see. Ooh, this one has like almost a baby powder smell maybe but it's so cute I just realized I probably wasn't saying anything that's the problem with not editing these videos but you guys I feel like a video like this would probably take me like 10 years to edit oh my gosh um okay okay let's see what do we have here oh my gosh look we have a couple more Sanrio oh my gosh this is like unbelievably soft uh so i'm not sure like what these might be called um they look kind of square oh my gosh you guys this literally feels like an actual cloud this feels like so delicate like it Ew, this is just unimaginably soft. If you're looking for something unreasonably soft that just feels amazing. Um, I have this one too. I don't think it's part of the same, because it doesn't have the same hang tag, but this is Hangyodon. I love this Sanrio character too. I feel like I used to talk about him a lot. Um, I used to have a magnet on my car that was this guy so this one's pretty soft but it's it's definitely like this isn't just this isn't a whole nother category but i love this one too and just look at his cute little face he looks genuinely shocked by something and this almost it reminds me of like a marshmallow i forget i think it was cutie creative last year that came out with the marshmallow squishies um but it, it looks like that, but it doesn't have that same like powdery texture, which is fine by me. Um, so I have this one and I don't think that this is a keychain or anything. Uh, so this is the same brand as these super realistic donuts, 
but it is a little thing of frozen yogurt. I have been craving Froyo. I have not had it in so long. And oh my gosh, this looks just like a little container of Froyo. That's so cute. Um, so you would just like sit this on your desk. It's not a keychain or anything. Uh, and then you actually have the little frozen yogurt inside. And I will say this one is pretty, it's, it's like a more traditional like stress ball. It's a little bit, um, like I get, it's, it's not as soft. Do you know what I mean? But it is super realistic and I love whatever this material is because it looks shimmery and glittery, but it doesn't, like the glitter doesn't rub off on your hands. It's different than pearlescent in my mind because it actually looks glittery. I don't know, it's really pretty and it's really cute. Um, moving along, I have two of these, which are enormous, and they are called the Pine Francis. So it is French bread, and I think I'll save the pink one for you guys. So I will open the toasted bread. Uh, this is also like an enormous squishy, obviously, and this is by Squishy Japan, and it's eye bloom as well. And I love squishies, honestly, that come with like realistic looking packaging. So it's so cute because you can just take the paper wrapper off like it was real French bread. And then look at that. You can put the bread on your head. <laughs> um, very soft, very squishy, and I'm sure very slow rising. So let's, <laughs> it just like makes a funny, I don't know. It's like, it expands very fast, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this one is funny. Um, and it looks like a real piece of bread. Does it not? I think it is. Um, okay, I don't know why I thought the bread would like perch on my shoulder. We have this little guy, which is a cute little dino, and he's called the Cutiesaurus. And look at him. Uh, oh my gosh, so, so cute. Wow, he has that same delicious, like, mango-y kind of smell. I'm loving it. And he's pearlized and rainbow. So cute. There we go. That one's pretty slow rising, too. He's a little bit more, what do I want to say, like, dense? I don't know. It's like... I don't, it's like got more of an outer shell, I guess you could say. I think that's probably the finish, but still very squishy, very pleasant. I have a pile of squishies here, you guys. Uh, so let me show you some of these. This is definitely gonna be like maybe the longest video to date on this channel. I don't know when you guys will see this video. Um, but I have a lot of these marshmallow kitties and oh my gosh, the keychain part on these is so cute. It's like a gigantic burger spoon. So I should probably unwrap these, right? I feel like you can't see their faces as well, but these are little marshmallow kittens. So we have that one. Uh, let me take this one down to the bottom. It looks like another blue one. Oh my gosh, this one has like a baby pacifier. That one is so cute. How about a little focusing? Thank you so much. Um, we have this one, which I don't know. These are not, it's not shaking down. It's stuck in there. I uh, can't do it. I'm just trying to, okay, all right. We're just gonna rip it open. You can't undo it once you've done it. Oh, so destructive. Oh my gosh, look, this one is like drooling. That's hilarious. Oh my gosh, this smells amazing. It's like the giant, uh, what is it called? Punimaru, who makes the gigantic lemons. That is what that one smells like. And then we have this cute little one that looks like a precious little baby cat. Um, this one's purple. I kind of don't want to open all these because I would love to give some of these away. So there we go. That one is super cute. Um, and I didn't even notice we have another cutie Saurus. And this one is like a bright fluorescent pink. So cute. Such a cute.
cutie Sora. Look at that. Oh my gosh, look at its smile. And it's driving me crazy. Gertie, I think that that's the dinosaur at Hollywood Studios. You can go and you can get um, ice cream and it's like a giant Loch Ness monster and its name is Gertie. Look, now I'm telling you guys more about Disney. So cute. Um, I also have what I think is a ton of Gudetama water squishies, but Halloween themed. So I have this one too, which is plain and you can see him in there. It's like a water squishy with a Gudetama inside. I feel like I'm gonna save these for my mom though. I almost hate to defile them with my hands. I don't know if defile is the right word. That's probably a little strong. Um, but I don't, I don't, I kind of want to like give her the experience, but you know what? We'll open one of them. Cause I also want to give you guys the experience. Um, so it looks like we have four different colors in here and I'm trying to see if it looks like, wow, the black one. That's crazy. It's like a black water squishy and we have a green one. We have a purple one. And we have a orange one. And I'm gonna see if it looks, oh, let's do the green one for the Swamp Fam. Why not? Um, oh my gosh. Plus you guys, I kind of wanted to make, this is just like another random thing that I've been thinking of, but I kind of wanted to make Banana Squad shirts. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done any merch. Like I've completely fallen off the planet. I have so many ideas for merch and I haven't done any of it in forever. I feel like it's just because I've been like designing so many like, um, you know, like products like the Bellamy um, graveyard curl set and stuff like that. So I haven't really, I don't know. I haven't really like designed any new t-shirts or anything but I really want to do it because I, I miss doing that kind of stuff. Oh my gosh. So it is like a water squishy slash splat ball and it is Franken Gudetama. And hopefully you guys can see that. <laughs> but he has a little Frankenstein face. Wow, this is like really relaxing to just go like that. Nice. Um. And then the last couple of things we have, we have a couple more Halloween squishies. So this is Cutie Creative. And I don't remember what these little guys are called. Monster dolls. I think we had one last year that was a blue one and he had braces. Oh my gosh, he comes with a little witch hat. This is so cute. Okay. Oh my gosh, I just found one of the frog uh, tabs from last week's Wreck-It Wednesday. But look, this one has a little witch hat. It's so cute. So you can put it on his little, on his little head. Oh my gosh, you guys. Of course, I have Halloween fever already. I think about Halloween once a day, every day. I'm so excited. I just wait all year for Halloween to come and then when October is over, I just feel sad. So we have another one which is from the same collection and this one looks like a vampire. So let's see what we got here. Oh my gosh, he has a little costume too and it's a little Dracula cape. This is adorable. Wow, that has kind of a caramel smell. It smells so good. It's just like caramel. It's not really like caramel apple or anything. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's Velcro. This is so cute. Oh my gosh, she has a little tail. <laughs> this is too cute, you guys. Oh my gosh. If they have more of these, you should get them because it's so cute. Okay, there's his little cravat. Imagine that. Oh my gosh. Look at him in his little cape. It's so wholesome. I love him. Okay, we have a couple more. I know this video has been so long. Is this supposed to be a poisonous apple? I think it is because it's like an apple, but it has a skull and crossbones on it. And I love it. Oh my gosh, it's so soft. I feel like it's been forever since I've seen an apple squishy. We had a golden apple last year. It smells very deliciously of apples. These kind of remind me of these except for I think it's a little bit different. It's called Bread Doll, but that's really cute. It's a little keychain, so cute. 
so cute. Bread doll angel. Oh my gosh, it does have wings. I better go because any minute I'm going to be cut off. Uh, but thank you guys so much for listening, for hanging out. I hope you had fun looking at the squishies and I will see you guys very soon. I love y'all so much. Bye.